As election campaigning has gotten underway, both national parties have put particular focus on the Northeast. Narendra Modi went to three states over the weekend, and Rahul Gandhi is undertaking a two day visit to the region as well. So, what's at stake in the Northeast? Priyal joins us with more details. Well, it's a battle of about 25 seats, if I include Sikkim as well. And this is, of course, uh, uh, these seats are extremely significant, given uh, that there is a question of the fractured verdict, and all of this will count. While in 2009, we have seen the entire uh, uh, Congress and regional parties taking forefront. In fact, Congress had gained more traction uh, in the Northeast uh, with almost 13 seats and more as far as the region is concerned. It is now battling for almost 20 seats in Northeast is what the party uh, really claims. However, we've seen uh, the prime ministerial candidate of uh, the BJP visiting Northeast almost uh, twice in, uh, in, in, in almost 15 days, uh, covering Assam, Arunachal Pradesh, uh, Tripura, uh, and other regions. Uh, we also know that Trinamool Congress is also gunning uh, for Northeast, especially as far as Tripura and Assam is concerned, where Mamta Banerjee is also expected uh, to make her uh, pitch for the upcoming general elections. Now, as far as what has already happened, we've seen uh, Narendra Modi's two visits, where there are two key points that he has uh, really pointed out in the Northeast. First, of course, is the infrastructure and development uh, of Northeast, making Northeast an IT hub, uh, questioning the entire insurgency due to youth uh, unemployment, and therefore putting employment as a key target and also exploration of oil and gas and other petroleum uh, issues as far as Northeast is concerned. Lately, he's also given a glimpse of his uh, foreign uh, policy uh, in terms of uh, really warning China in for its mindset of expansionism and also, of course, pointing out that Arunachal Pradesh is very key to the state. In the coming week, we will see Mamta Banerjee and Rahul Gandhi also putting in their pitch as far as Northeast is, is concerned. All right. Joining me now to talk about this further are Nirmala Sitharaman, who is a spokesperson with the BJP and a senior leader there, and Nirja Chaudhary, political commentator and columnist. Thank you very much, both of you, for joining me. Let me come to you first, Nirmala. Clearly, Northeast seems to be very important to your party and especially Mr. Narendra Modi's entire campaigning trail. Why? Well, uh, Northeast has been important even during Anshri Atal Bihari Vajpayee Ji's time. NDA, in fact, if you recall, was the first time uh, dedicating a specialized ministry for the Northeast. The Department of Northeastern Affairs, the Donier as it came to be called, was formed during the NDA government. And therefore, Northeast, uh, it is not a newfound uh, affection. We have always had this extra attention, which was rightly to be given for the Northeast, given North Donier was formed during NDA, and subsequently several programs uh, were organized to showcase Northeast and to celebrate the kind of diversity together with the kind of, uh, you know, endowments that it has both in human uh, uh, skills and also in terms of the resources, tourism and the very talented young people and so on. So it is a continuation of that process that today uh, the prime ministerial candidate of the BJP has all chosen to give all the required attention for all the seven plus one inclusive of Sikkim, that is eight states of the Northeast. Your party president, uh, Nirmala, Mr. Rajnath Singh, recently said that Northeast will give unexpected results. How well are you expecting to do there? Very well. But I may not be able to engage with you on what kind of numbers we are working on. The fact remains that uh, only recently you also must have uh, got to know that in Arunachal Pradesh, the former chief minister, Gegong Apang, has uh, joined the party. Uh, a former member of parliament from Masa, um, Arunachal Pradesh, um, Kiran Rijuju, who was briefly not with the party in between, has also joined the party. These are people who have worked at the grassroots level in the Northeast. Similarly, in Assam, we have very good network of people and under the leadership of Sarvanandji Sunuwal, who has been earlier with EGP, is also giving greater attraction for the BJP's activities. Manipur is one state where I have spent some time, uh, and I would certainly love to spend more time, 
is also showing great potential and the youngsters in Manipur are willing to understand and uh, also ask questions about how Narendra Modi has plans for the Northeast. In fact, um, uh, Narendra Modi ji had earlier suggested that women from uh, you know, the police officials and others from the Northeast could come particularly to Gujarat and have exposure training in various different developments which are happening. So that kind of, you know, the, the, that bond which uh, Modi ji has extended to the Northeast has been over the years and today you're just finding it that he's directly connecting with them.